At an important time in the city of Detroit, candidates are preparing for a heated battle for mayor. One has a four year term under his belt and wants to continue our comeback. Another, a seasoned state veteran who promises change. On the campaign trail, Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan is in the city meeting with numerous groups and accumulating endorsements like this one from the Black Slate, an African American community organization with longstanding roots in our city. He's also sharing his goals for a second term and some of the city's most proud accomplishments in the past four years. Very proud of the fact that the unemployment rate in Detroit is the lowest it's been. In 17 years, there's 20,000 more Detroiters working than four years ago. In January 2014, there were 40,000 vacant houses in the city. Today, there's 25,000. Our numbers show 72% of Detroiters think the city is heading the right direction. So for most Detroiters, it means the street lights on, the grass is cut in the parks, the buses are running on time, police and ambulances are showing up on a timely basis, trash is picked up, now streets are being uh, swept. All of the graduates of high schools in Detroit have two years of college tuition guaranteed. This fall, I think we're going to hammer out a bipartisan solution to get the car insurance down. Duggan's top opponent, also a Democrat, is State Senator Coleman Young Jr. from Detroit. Hey, how you doing? The younger of the two, State Senator Young doesn't have endorsements from top unions, but says he's willing to be the voice for the people who've been forgotten in the neighborhoods. I want to put people to work. That's really my, one of my biggest goals, is to put people to work. I also want to work on making sure that we reduce poverty. Right now it's at 48%. The city of Detroit, I think that's atrocious. I also want to make sure that we have mass transit that goes more than three miles. We're doing more for the people who left the city of Detroit than we're doing for the people who stayed. And that's going to stop in a young administration. The senator also tells us he'll be the true voice for those who feel excluded. I've passed legislation, created 10,000 jobs through movie tax credits. I've passed legislation keeping people in their houses through neighborhood enterprise zones. Uh, I've passed legislation, historic civil rights legislation. Young says he hopes to appeal to voters of all ages and backgrounds, including those who remember his father. I don't think there'll ever be another Coleman Young, even though I'm the closest thing on this planet to Coleman Young. Other candidates in the nonpartisan election include Artesia Bomber, Dean Edward, Curtis Green, Donna Marie Pitts, and Danette Simpson. All have expressed a desire to serve the people of Detroit. All the candidates we spoke with share a passion for our city and pledge to work hard every single day. Now it'll be up to the voters to decide what happens next. Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.